All right, so this is gonna be the Space Station versus Evil Geniuses match from the past play day. So starting out with the bans, Echo is banned from Space Station and Mira is banned from Evil Geniuses. Really, it just comes down to most, most teams don't like going up against those two just because if something goes wrong, it may take a bit longer to go through the push. And if they're planting at five seconds, they don't wanna just give away the round because an Echo's in play. So it really just comes down to that's kind of why Echo's banned and Mira's banned because a lot of teams don't like having to stare at a one-way window and be worried about, okay, is the mirror going to, is the one behind the window going to peek me? Is somebody, is, are they giving information so someone can do a run out on me? Is, are they giving information so that somebody's getting ready to swing on me? A lot of people just don't like doing that. So they normally will ban the mirror as well. Those are kind of the two big defender bans. Then Space Station ban Nomad. So there are a lot of choke points on Consulate. So you, a lot of teams will just ban Nomad just so they don't have to deal with her. And it's it just comes down to most teams hate dealing with her because she has no counter. I mean, yeah, she has no counter. So that's it. it she, you can't counter her. And there's so many choke points that most teams just say we're not going to deal with that. Then EG bans Capital, and that just comes down to they don't want to be they, on the defense. They don't want to be burned or smoked out of their positions. So it, I'd say, it, in honesty, it strengthens the upstairs hold of for the d defenders, just because Capital is very strong there because he can smoke the. If you're going on to a, an attack of the projector room, you can smoke and fire both the hallway and the connector. And so from there you can easily get a plant and projector. And you know the thing is I don't think it's actually called projector, but it's it's the room above here. I can't remember what it's actually called. But anyway, that's kind of the thoughts with the bands. Now onto the actual attacking side. So you have the Thatcher Thermite. Uh yeah it's a Thatcher Thermite you so it's nothing really special. It's just you need the way to open up the garage normally. Normally if you don't know where you're going, you run a thermite just because you may need to open the garage and Hibana is not the best for that. However, if you're if you know for a fact that you're attacking upstairs, then thermite's probably going to get switched out for Hibana just because you need to have the range associated with the Hibana that if you're trying to thermite a wall, you're just going to be exposing yourself. Then Rampy is on the Zofia. Rampy, from what I know, is the fragger of Space Station. And he, so throwing him on kind of the most heavily fragging, kind of like the fragging operator of Zofia. Because that's, that is what she is. She just brings more utility than Ash. She's kind of just a, a little bit worse fragging wise than Ash. However, most people run her over Ash now because her gun is, I mean, Ever since Ash lost the ACOG, a lot of people don't like playing her just because they prefer ACOGs. It comes down to the settings they play at. Most people don't play at like 4-3 four, four, or 5-4. So, and instead of plays 16-9, 16-10. So they they almost have to use ACOGs on the attack just because of the long angle angles they have to they have to fight from. So if the operator they want to play no longer has an ACOG, they switch off of her. Then Fultz is on Jackal, so that's kind of, Jackal's a, I'd say he has a good kit, and he's not really a, yeah, he has a good kit. You aren't really bringing him for his gadget to track people. Yes, you can, just to kind of give a bit more information. However, most of the time, you're bringing him more just because he has a good kit, where he has a good gun, he can, he can provide soft destruction with his shotgun, and he's bringing smokes. So all of those together make him a pretty, pretty viable operator. Then Bosco is on the IQ. I think that really just came into play because Gotcha's on the Valkyrie and you'd never want a Valkyrie camera outside just possibly giving any information. And there's so many places, there's so many windows and so many places an IQ, no not an IQ, a Valkyrie camera can be thrown that it's very hard to search for it with just your eyes. Then for EG, the they're running a maestro for information fragging and the ability to open up to open up walls open up rotate holes with a shotgun then gotcha's on the valkyrie for information as well 
NVK is on the dock in order to just long angles and frag. I mean, this there's not really too much utility I would say to go that goes along with consulate. It's more of a win your gunfight map. It's not as much as say border, but it it's not as utility based as say bank. So you don't always have to be bringing utility. Then Young is on the Mozzie. So that's a, Mozzie's a mute Valkyrie hybrid where I mean, you can stop drones and you can capture drones. So of this EG basically has three information ops. And then Necrox is on the Jaeger. I mean, you run Jaeger just so you can stop grenades, stop some utility from going through and hard hold some positions. Because if the enemy team knows you're not running a Jaeger and they just say, okay, we can run grenades, then you can just grenade people out of their positions and it's really, I mean, you, you can no longer hold a lot of positions. So with that, defense comes out for, defense comes out from evil geniuses. They're going first floor first. Um, really all the bomb sites are viable. I'd say the split site is the least viable and it's more of a coin flip between the, the way that it, the attackers push it. Where they push from garage, you have to be set up for garage. Where they try and push from above, you have to be set up from, for above. And if you choose wrong, then you kind you you give the attackers a bit more of an advantage than you'd like. Other than that, though, the other sides are all viable. Then, so then, yeah, let's go on. So, camera here just to give information if a plant comes out. Shield here to give a pixel peek to allow it to contest this doorway. Yes. Lobby, which I will always remember when I had first started out casting and after all the co Maestro camera here in order to watch A as well as down the hallway. Concept that I'd watch, teams would always try to avoid going to a lobby. I want to see how the rest of the setup goes. Always remember when Reinforcements from I young here. Casting and after all the Reinforcement here. So this reinforcement right here from Necrox is meant so that there's a you have the double windows roughly here, and it's meant just to stop someone from say bucking through or shooting through, and now you have a long angle down here. Concept that I'd watch. Teams would always. Then this reinforcement is here, so someone can play inside a connector, and you can't be shot from over by the bathroom area because you can open up the bathroom window shoot through the wall and if this reinforcement isn't here no one can play connector going to a lobby as much as possible keep in mind when i first started oh, casting, on. it was only a two site rotation yeah because there was a you, you could win the basement of consulate then go up top and then go second maestro the cam's going down lobby a little curious just Which because is there is a uh, I think a little curious just because there's also a dock cam there and i think that's a little i think that kind of doubling up on the information isn't the best there it's better just to put either the, probably keep the maestro cam there or move the dock cam somewhere else. However, maybe it just comes down to EG's expecting the maestro to be destroyed. So they want to double up on the information. I think they're uh, maybe not the most viable outside of two sites out of favor, a big one being Oregon. Yeah, I mean, it was also, they did they did force the three side rotation a little bit prematurely, but Ubisoft have since started updating so many maps so quickly that with more sites that are more viable, like Clubhouse, for example, like Cafe, that it's justified at this point. Like we've, we've passed the part where it was a problem that they changed to the three site rotation, and it offered us a lot. Now, this Claymore here from Rampy basically tells me that Rampy or someone wants to repel on kind of the windows around here because they're expecting a run out from up here where they jump out, run, drop here, and go for the frag, and they just don't want to deal with that. Or they're trying to, or space stations just trying to bait them in. A lot of diversity when it was first introduced, so it's it's cool. The point I was trying to make is that I just remember Troy cooking me alive on a stream at one point, and speak of him, and only well, gets the very first kill. And he Canadian just, just plant, holding an aggressive angle rampy. gets a kill. Was he said stop saying that lobby is unconventional, which is. See, there's really anything I can see from that because I don't. I just remember Troy cooking me alive on a. Checks one window, Canadians in the other one. Uh, I mean, it really just comes down to Rampy wasn't expecting anyone to be holding an angle, so he kind of, to a degree, half assed checking where 
instead of going and as he's swinging out from here, he first checks this window. And then once he knows that's clear, he then swings more and checks the other one. However, if you look here. The point I was trying to make is that I just remember Troy cooking me alive. Ignores this one, goes straight to this one. That's all it came down to. So Rampy made a mistake, got killed because of it. On a stream at one point. A little aggressive from Canadian, but hey, he gets the kill. First kill and it just absolutely dusts Rampy. Was... Now, that wall was shotgunned out for two reasons. Well, actually, two reasons from what I see. The first is if I can actually go back. The first is that it allows somebody to be playing this bathroom area and it establishes a long angle through the wall to the doorway behind Young. Okay, this is a meeting room, not projector. I call it projector, I don't know why. But it establishes an angle from the bathroom, just outside of the bathroom, through this wall to the meeting door. And so you can't just walk in, you can't just walk into the door behind Young. The other reason is you can actually, through this hatch, be sitting, standing right about there, you can get an angle all the way down to the doorway and outside. So if the enemy tries to push in, you have you can shoot them from above. Dust and it's a very hard angle to contest. Was he said stop saying that lobby is unconventional, which is the word that I used to describe it. And I said that it was unconventional when you consider the fact that it wasn't always played as readily as the other two sites. Yeah, I think I had a leg to stand on. Troy now I'm not sure what Fultz is doing out here Who's laughing now? because he's not really helping his team do anything. Maybe he's just checking the, maybe he was just droning and is now checking the windows as he tries to move. But with, really the big thing is that uh, really he can't do much outside of there. He has to help his team take control of the top floor first or else the plant isn't going to be able to go down because the enemy will just be able to, the EG will just be able to collapse onto them. With probably that, um... The entire ceiling, of, well not the entire ceiling, but well the the ceiling above the A-bomb site, I think that all of that is destructible, as well as the floor. And there's so many angles into the B-bomb site that you can't plant there the without top-down control. It is straight up, statistically one of the lesser-played bomb sites, which makes it unconventional by Parker's uh, assessment. But Troy just thinks that it's a de heavily defensible site, a very comfortable one, and he's right, it is. We were arguing different points. Yeah, they were. you guys were arguing different points. Um, Evil geniuses have started this really good, as you noted, uh, with Canadian getting the very first one. So I think uh, thinking he's trying to get a flank drone down. Uh, okay. One drone lost already for Space Station. And I'm trying to see exactly how this push is coming out, because the push to me seems split. I see where Chala and Thinking Nate are. Bosco was on the roof and Fultz was outside. It's Canadian's name. So Fultz is now on repel. Okay. To the uh, projector or meeting balcony, depending on what you call it. Young will fall back, and the reason he falls back. Is okay, so Young dropped down, and that was actually a really, well, it's not an amazing call, but it's a good call, because he's having pre he's being pressured, but he has no re he has no reason to really fight it and risk fighting the upside down repel, and the upside down repel is to a degree broken due to how the camera works in the game just where it's positioned, because someone upside down repelling can see more than somebody who's just repelling and repelling kind of the right side up. He's playing Mozzie, and with Mozzie, so he can't... He, he has to give up, well he doesn't have to, but he gives up the room, but Space Station still can't go for the plant because they don't have top down control. They still have to worry about someone coming up and once they give up the control, someone coming and going for a late flank to establish that. So just because Young gave it up doesn't mean that now Space Station can go for the plant. And C4, the default plant from below. You can see the drop downs in the basement are opened up that will allow for the rotation, but also later will allow for what I was just saying. Now why a thermite charge is being used on a hatch, I don't get. Young can deny from below and that's really important. That's why he falls downstairs. There's still contention on the top floor here for Evil Geniuses. You see they got this array and CEO by the big desk and they can fight from the yellow stage. So Fultz is now outside. So this is really strange. So Chala and Thinking Aid are both trying to... Th Chala and Thinking Aid are both trying to take the upstairs control. But all they can really do here is take admin because somebody's going to have to drone one of them. And, well, someone's going to have to drone, so that takes away one body. 
and then a, the other person isn't going to be able to get refragged, and it's going to be a two-on-one gunfight with Gotcha and NVK both being upstairs. So it's a little curious about how this how this push is so split, and I'm not sure about the actual idea coming up from Space Station here. Do, but the reason they're doing this is because it'll allow for them to retake into meeting hall slash projector. So Necrox, I think, was trying to go for a flank, gets droned out, just kills the drone, and then just runs away. And that's all he has to do because he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to go for this flank, and there's no reason to try and put this into a 4v4 main count. The plant in the main lobby when it eventually comes out. There's so much offsite presence from EG right now. Yeah. An absolute staggering amount. At one point, there was up to four bodies offsite. It's just Gotcha right now who's uniquely positioned to hold. So Bosco's now an admin. Well, setting up a flank drone. He's just gonna wait for the time being. As space station, don't really know where. So I'm really curious about what Fultz's job is here. Because he's not going to be able to do much to help his team from this position. He can't really, uh, like he's not, if so long as nobody peeks him, then he's he has no influence on the round whatsoever. Because being outside that door, he can't destroy the dock camera, he can't destroy the maestro cams, and the only way he's going to be able to get a kill is if somebody actually peeks him. And so long as EG plays passively enough, there's not really, nothing's going to happen. He's just going to be there. And so, effectively, Space Station is turning this into a 3v5 because they're saying they're telling Fultz to go wait outside instead of using him to his to his fullest, using him to his potential. Because the top stair the top floor still isn't uh, it still hasn't been cleared. So I'm a little curious about the thought process with what it, with what SSG is going for, just because they they kind of seem almost to be throwing away a body when they really need him and they're already in a man disadvantage. Where to go? They've already lost their This is the bathroom angle. Destructor in Zofia, so the evil eye cams are going to be really powerful. I'll be up to Canadian to just sit and watch. There's one inside of the main lobby watching the B bombs. So 30 seconds watch. left. The only control that space station took during this entire round was admin office and admin office was given to them. So this is Space Station just stalled out hard here. And I think it just comes down to I think it just comes down to Rampy got picked early and Space Station wasn't sure what to do. And maybe they sent Fultz to do Rampy's job downstairs, but they couldn't do that because they really needed the pushing power upstairs. There was no pushing power. If Jackal had gone upstairs and was able to cut off the bathroom angle from was able to cut off the bathroom angle into meeting hall with his smoke grenade, then that could have possibly given meeting control. It could have also possibly allowed for a space station to push up further. However, because they have no way to cut off angles or really push push angles, they they struggled and they struggled really hard. So with at some point, I think it might have been taken out by an EMP. Actually. What is what is Shala doing? Point. So Fultz for about two minutes now has been outside of the, has been outside of here. That, so I thought I saw a maestro cam around here, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So Chal is holding the flank So from Visa. Okay, that's not too surprising. I think it might have been taken out by an EM. But it seems that everyone's holding a flank when they need to be pushing. Good. There's still smokes here, yeah, but there's so little time, and there's a lot of utility from evil geniuses to deny this plant. If there's anybody in back, Fultz is trying to crouch walk in, and that doesn't work. He's on a he's on a dock camera right now, possibly a Valkyrie camera, possibly a Maestro cam. So I don't know what his thought process is here. Fultz will creep on up, maybe in this position to watch a separate angle. Necrox falls, still waiting to see if. So Necrox just dies to Chala holding the angle. Now. This just comes down to why is Chala holding an angle at 10 seconds? Canadian will snap into action. The default oh, cam is no. up. Oh, no. Then Space Station Alex, let's just walk in and try to plant this with no smokes. I don't even understand why they aren't trying to smoke this doorway and hold an angle there. Bad news, bears. Bosco wins the gunfight. Young gets a kill with a nitro cell. That's Fultz. I want to see where Young was. Top floor. Ooh, top floor control. But thinking it was there holding the flank. Holding the angle, and gotcha throws out the C4 and gets it at the then gotcha set. gets the nitro cell kill. Kendo, a coach. So 
SSG did good going in there and winning gunfights and holding the right angles, but that really just came down to they had to just run in there and try to plant. If if NVK had won the fight on the repelling on repelling thinking made, then this plant would never have worked. If the Maestro had won the gunfight on faults or the IQ, this plant this plant would never have worked. So this just comes down to it was a bad attack from Space Station, and they said, okay, let's try and frag our way to victory, and they got some kills, but because they didn't have they didn't have the proper angles established, people weren't holding the right angles, the bomb was the bomb was destroyed. A coach. Well, no, no, not the bomb was destroyed. The bomb was stopped. Coach Parker, EG wins round one. So uh, the first plant was denied with the c4 from below that was young using the drop down the second plant another c4 this time from gotcha but the real culprit information there so it really just came down to space station just wasted a lot of time and they they messed up that's all it came down to and they that's curious but well it really just space station wasted way too much time and had to run in there and go for frags. Now they they did have a good chance of actually winning that round with the fragging. However, because they couldn't stop the nitro cell from below, they lose the first planner. Then Bosco has to plant, and if I remember this correctly, Rampy was dead, and I can't remember who else was actually dead. It was but it was a three v three, but really it doesn't matter. It just came down to too much time was wasted. And there was no way to stop the utility from evil geniuses. And when Foltz died with the bomb plant, Bosco had to go throw the Bosco had to go and use and get the bomb down himself. However, because he had to get the bomb down, there wasn't enough people weren't holding all the angles that they needed to, and Gotch was able to get a nitro cell kill. Now, on to the next round. So I'm curious why Chala is now on Hibana and not Thermite. Because normally Hibana is useful upstairs. Thermite's useful downstairs, and EG hasn't gone downstairs yet, so you normally want the Thermite. So I'm a little curious about that. Other than that, same lineup coming out. Then for EG, they have Canadian on the Vigil. Uh, it just really... Uh, I'm not too sure about the Vigil just combined with the with Gacha on the, on the Mozzie, because Vigil makes you take longer to drone. However, Gotcha makes it so you can't drone. So I'm a little curious as to the thought process with those two. Maybe they're not going to be roaming in the same areas, so they're just going to have. Uh, they're just going to be. For, they're really just going to be making life suck for the drones. Maybe it'd be better to bring a mute instead of a vigil. But either way, the, those two together are going to make droning. Droning to it's just going to suck to drone. Then NVK is on the maestro. I mean, you need the information here, so you throw a maestro to, I mean, you just, you get a maestro. You throw maestro cams down somewhere in the garage area. Normally, the way I like doing it is you throw one down on the, one down behind this white van because you can see underneath the white van all the way outside to somebody playing behind there. You can zap people if they try and run up and there's no angle. You can put, then I also like putting one down on... I think, I'm trying to remember exactly how I do it. I think it's right here. So I can watch yellow stairs as well as to see if anybody goes for the plant. The problem with this one is, is it's so exposed that if Zofia comes in, they can get rid of it pretty easily. But that's kind of the risk reward versus my, with Maestro cams. You can, if you see more, you can get shot from, you can get shot from more angles. Then Young's on Bandit. Uh, I'm a little curious about that because you're not going to be able to ban a trick anything. It, well, you're not going to be able to ban a trick if the correct pressure is coming out from yellow stairs. So a little curious as to why it's a why it's a bandit and not say a mute because mute you could theoretically use two jammers and then you can throw a jammer down here to stop Jones from here, or and then you can throw one down maybe here. To stop any yellow stairs drone and combine that with a vigil and a mozzie that can be really strong so i'm not sure why they elect to run a bandit maybe just a comfort op where young prefers bandits gun 
and bringing the nitro cell helps as well but that's something you just have to ask them and i'm not friends with them so i i mean i, I don't know how to contact them don't think they'd accept my friend request but they're running a bandit then necrox is on the dock just to necrox is on dock just kind of a more of a fragging based operator you'll see eg they switch around who plays what a good amount depending on the site maybe that just comes down to that's the strategy maybe it comes down to the players they prefer playing different operators on different sites which makes sense but it is what it is does it allow them to clutch that round all right first maestro came, maestro came down there we're coming out and those marks were on the planters and they secured the round second maestro came evil, down there evil geniuses but again the real problem both are going to be used to stop the garage push it's the way they normally are used you very rarely actually push from the back here unless it's a rush it's just the time this time management from space station not being great same rotate hole coming out as last round we go to the basement next Interesting that the third site is going to be console office upstairs. Yeah, I mean, personally, I don't know. I, I, I'm not very good at playing on consulate for whatever reason. I know it's a good map. Actually, reinforced. Same reinforcements coming upstairs. On the top floor, and I know there's a lot of other people out there. The space station really did struggle on clearing the upstairs, and maybe that just came down to they weren't sure how, or they were expecting Rampy to be alive, and Fultz wasn't comfortable with it. I don't know. Same way. Rotate all here, reinforcements are there, both hatches got. I'm trying to figure out all the reinforcements. There's three, four, five. Saw two upstairs, so seven. Leaving three more, and I have no idea where. So kind of a preference thing. Some people feel very uncomfortable on the bottom floor. Depends on how you are as a player. And I find that Consulate is one of those maps that has a lot to do with individual skill. curious as to why that... Skill. Not sure why that uh, barbed wire was moved up a little bit. Normally you want it a little bit further away from the doorway. However, maybe that's more just a sound cue to help to just to help stop someone from running across yellow stairs. And instead of just going down, I don't know. But yeah. The the one uh, one thing I noticed is Kane doesn't like windows. Again, remember certain players that evil geniuses have that are like Necrox, for example, who are very, very strong in the basement. Necrox on the dock ACOG, I expect him to do a lot of work. I could be wrong. But I know he's good there. Like a lot of teams do, you have to scout out admin and see if anybody's there. And it was Foltz. He's now going to have Rampy come on up and join the drone that is inside of admin office and realize that, hey, it's admin cleared. Just like the samples at Costco. That's a basic roam clear coming in from Space Station. You saw that, I think it was Chala. Was that actually Chala? Oh, why is Chala there? Oh, yeah. So I disagree with this. You see Chala is on the double windows over there. And the problem with that is that's your one hard breacher. If you can't take out the one hard breacher, I mean, if you can take him out, then that can be really, really beneficial for your team. Because with no Hibana, the garage wall is not getting open. So default plant basically isn't there anymore. You then are going to have trouble clearing out behind all the vans especially if you don't have the soft destruction of a buck of a buck which isn't here and maybe bosco and zofia are both running breaching charges however that's still not the same as just bringing a buck maybe thinking it is breaching charges as well however that's still it's it's still gonna cause issues especially if the garage doesn't get open but really i don't get why the hibana is holding the angle here that to me seems like a mistake because you don't want your Hibana to be the one taking an early on fight. You want her to be just safe and droning people in and helping support, maybe go for a refrag. That, like going for a refrag is the most aggression you should be getting out of your hard breacher. However, you really shouldn't be having her be the sole person holding an angle. Just because having her hold the flank, there one bullet is all it takes, one lucky bullet, and she's dead. And now you have no way to take out hatches, no way to open up the garage wall, and you're going to struggle because you just have to walk in through doorways. Do you, I mean, think about this. Do you want to have to try and walk down yellow stairs to go for a plant? Because I, I don't. I would never want to do that. So I disagree with that. I think it would be better to have probably have the have Fultz, probably have Bosco holding the angle. Either Bosco or Thinking Navy. Because 
you know, have it be thinking aid because thinking aid can spawn over, run to the garage wall, throw an EMP down, get rid of three of the bandit charges, and from there can then go hold the angle and has done the majority of his job. So that would be a better person to put there and then have Chala spawn over. And then thinking they could also bring a Claymore, put it down on the yellow stairs to stop any run out for when he is holding the angle on this double window. So I think if thinking they changes positions with Chala, that'd be a lot better here. And then have Chala go join Rampy, uh, Rampy Foltz and possibly Bosco in order to take the fight over here. Oh no, this isn't reinforced, that's curious. Didn't even notice that. But I have no idea where these reinforcements are then. Maybe bathroom? But bathroom, I don't know, I, sh I have to see this. Doesn't really matter for now though. But instead have basically, have thinking Nate on his own, holding the holding the windows to stop rotates around this uh, around the front desk area. And then have the other four pushing and droning each other in just to to start to start performing the roam clear. That has samples. <laughs> Sponsored stream paid casters. Evil genius is holding on to the top board in an attempt to delay the roam clear. See so think about this. If Chala was holding that angle up top there, he would have just died to NVK's pre no to Necrox's pre fire. So that's kinda of one of the reasons I say you have to worry about you have to like it's it'd be it's a little dangerous sending Chala to go be the one holding the angles. As much as possible, there is a jackal which is going to hinder their efforts. Now, minute past. Eventually gets there. Oh, nice C4 from Gotcha, and there. Good C4 from Gotcha. I have no idea if maybe there was a camera in play that was used, or maybe it was just Gotcha throwing. Maybe Gotcha was just expecting someone to be there. I don't know. Either way, very good game sense coming out from him. That's two C4s in a row from Gotcha that will secure a kill. Very efficient. Okay, one reinforcement there. So I think I know where seven are. So Fultz is on the roof. Bosco's crouch walking in. Shala's holding the angle. Okay, no, Fultz is rappelling down to contest the meeting room. However, the last time meeting room was contested from Evil Geniuses, they just gave it up straight away, and it doesn't actually help because you need to clear out the top floor and if you clear out meeting room, great. That doesn't mean you actually have cleared out the top floor though. Coalesce around the admin office upstairs. Gotta remember that. Bosco's holding an angle. Those players on space. So I see thinking aid Bosco and Fultz. And then Chala's holding the flank, okay. Station who is just a tip top performer. If he's down early, that's a tilter for them. And you know, yeah. you need him to be a reliable player. You need him to be able to get the frags that you expect. And when it comes to not just the ability of Zofia, but also the fact that, you know, he's gonna have Ooh. a lot of utility. So this was not a good play from Gotcha where you tried to go upstairs while being jackal tracked. I mean there's really no point in it. If you're being jackal tracked, you have to you don't necessarily have to go to somewhere safe. You just have to be in somewhere you can fight effectively with the information that the enemy knows your position. And that can be anything from you always, that could be anything from you are constantly moving between these two angles so that if the enemy tries to push here, like let's say you know the enemy's pushing down this, no, here, let's, let's say the enemy is pushing through this doorway. You constantly move so your character is right there whenever you get pinged and then you move right back here and hold the angle for when they take the fight because they're gonna come around swinging, trying to take the fight on your position here. And then you can probably catch them off guard if you're right here. So that's kind of how I like to play it whenever I'm getting Jackal Track, constantly changing my positions little by little. So when you try and take the fight on me, you're gonna have to do some micro man some micro change to your aim that a lot of people are gonna struggle with. It could be anything from I'm you think I'm in the open and I'm holding this cover, or you think I'm in cover holding an angle, and then I go in and I'm in the open, and you're gonna be you're gonna be asking yourself why the hell is he there? So that's kind of how I think about getting Jack retract. However, going upstairs to where the enemy push is coming from when you've given up the upstairs is not a smart thing. There's a very, and then he runs down yellow stairs when it's very common for someone to be holding an angle on that yellow stairs rotate. 
So I think that was a, I think this was kind of two big mistakes coming out from Gotcha, where he went upstairs when he shouldn't have, and then he went downstairs without checking the yellow repel angle, and was expecting it to be clear when it doesn't always, it isn't always. Alright, two minutes have passed and man advantage for evil geniuses. I think everybody is downstairs. Thank you very much. I, I worked very hard on these. There's going to be another one coming out from the Jackal. It's going to be onto the Mozzie. So it's going to be Gotcha yet again. <laughs> Just Poor guy. Poor guy. He's been healed up. Main door isn't open. If you're... One thing you may... that I like doing is opening up the main door, even if you're worried about runouts, because opening up that main door is a threat to the defenders rotating. Because when they are trying, if you're ever around main lobby area and you see the door open, you have no clue if anybody is outside of that door. You don't know if they're on the right side, the left side. You don't know if they're far back holding an angle. You don't know if they're using one of those walls outside to hold an angle. You have no idea. And that's why it's always a threat if that door is open. And if and so as a defender, you may be asking, it, did anyone open the main door? No, no, no. Okay, that means the attackers opened it. Why did they open it? It, did they open it just for late round rotates? Did they open it just to apply some pressure? Is someone actively holding an angle? Is somebody going to swing in? Is someone... I don't know. You have no idea. And because you have no idea, it really can cause issues where you don't want to play around main lobby as a defender. And it just starts applying a bit more pressure and makes people a little more paranoid. Up to full by Necrox. But he's still being now Chala's going outside 40 seconds and the first Hibana Pell is trying to come down So the wall to me getting opened up with 30 seconds left, which is not good timing Young tries for a nitro cell doesn't hit anything He's just not a coach and he can't uh, he can't make it happen Well, there's only 30 seconds left though an evil genius and now because no one's holding the flank There's a double flank coming out from gotcha and Canadian Gotcha and Canadian both up top of Visa now, ascending to the main floor, and they're going to be in hot pursuit of anybody around. Gotcha catches a drone. Canadian stays in Visa, and Gotcha will now move over towards Piano. He could rain some real firepower down below. What a sh Now, here's the, here's the problem with having the Hibana holes and not having a Thermite hole. You have a much smaller area to actually get into the site. And I think there are only two... Uh, I think there were one Hibana pellet was used upstairs to clear out the, what is it, clear out the connector. And because of that, it's a crouch hole or vault hole. Either way, it's a very, it's a, not a fight you want to take. And so due to that, the EG NVK just gets an easy kill. Smoke comes out. Smoke isn't bulletproof. It just is a concealment. And if you have to move through a three foot by three foot area, and all you have to do is tap fire through there. You can easily get a kill. The smoke, away, and, the rest of e and then Canadian Young. Oh no, Young. Canadian gets the flank. I think he went somewhere around the main lobby. And Young probably killed someone in yellow stairs. The work needed that MVK could have from his position. Lobbing bullets as far down from garage as he could. EG on this flank. Nice shot. Off. It's a beautiful shot from Canadian. It's 2 nothing EG. I'm glad the the round ending kill cam caught that one. So So that just came down to a body was lost early again and Space Station doesn't have the they aren't a, they have an idea of what they want to do and they're doing it to a they're doing it decently but their roam clear takes so long that when it comes to the push they are really struggling here. The other issue is that they brought the wrong operators. They gambled on bringing a Hibana instead of a Thermite and it it hurt them. So, the round overall, really well defended from Evil Geniuses. Nice C4. The attackers thinking about it. Damages the anchor downstairs. To the now, the little hole. top floor coming from EG now. And I'm, maybe Space Station has just been expecting this and they've been talking about how to attack the top floor and not do a, a proper roam clear. And well, I say probably not do a not do a roam clear that is is specifically tailored for EG. Maybe they were thinking that with the first floor defense, the, for the rest of the round they were talking about how to do the upstairs attack, and because it didn't come out, they had spent a minute or so talking about how they want to attack the top floor, and it turns into a basement defense, and that threw them off. But anyway, 
Space Station bring the same lineup they did now with Chalon the Hibana. So Hibana here is where you want Hibana because what you do is you put her in projector, no, not projector, printer around here and you will Hibana the bottom of this so you can no longer hold behind here or in this corner. And it basically combined with somebody on the window, you can no longer play inside of A. And then hypothetically, if you had a capital, you can smoke and fire here, smoke and fire here from the window, and you now can go for the bomb plant inside of A. By the, uh, black car, black car now, onto that space station, same lineup, EG. Gotcha is off of the Mozzie and is onto a pulse. I, eh, I'm trying to see, I can't disagree with that because Mozzie can perform the same role as a pulse can where you can throw a nitro cell up and you can get the information with a drone. And then with his shotgun, if you wanted to, you could just make kill holes here and here. And then you, well, you can make one actually here. Better make one here. Now nobody wants to plant A. So they're gonna instead go for the default plant here. If they go for default plant, then and you're below, chuck a nitro cell, you're good. Now that's not that's not concerning anybody holding outside the main lobby, but that's just an idea. Now maybe they want more active information, so the pulse is brought. Either way, both operators do work. I just normally prefer a mozzie because I think he's a bit more flexible than a pulse is. Anyway, NVK is now on the Maestro. Young is on Smoke, Necrox Jaeger, Canadian's on Valkyrie. So Ops all changed. And, well, who's on what Ops changed? And there's not really much to say. I mean, you have the Jaeger to block projectiles. You have Smoke to kill 30 seconds You have and to make rotate holes, kill holes. You have Gotcha playing below for information, Canadian for information, NBK for information, and long angle fragging. Window, um, and... Yeah, that was a really good round from Evil Geniuses. Okay, and thank you for the scoreboard. Thermite thank you. Really hurt. Oh wait, thank you. Okay. Why the hell is? Okay. Why is that getting reinforced? I mean, I'm curious about a few things. The first, why is this not rein? You know, I need to actually. I'm gonna wait and see. I need to wait and see what the actual overall setup is, Maybe just to make sure. In that attack. Like seriously. If they had had a larger hole, then NVK might not have just gotten those three kills as they walked into a funnel to give them to him. That's a nice camera. Sometimes it's actually a bit of a neat camera. camera. Are the simplest ones. Is he going to double down? He really doesn't want to lose information on projector. Fair enough. It is the most attacked bomb site in this meta as most teams are going to be coming in through admin office, pressuring into projector slash meeting hall, whatever you call it. Also, I want to see the overall setup, but CEO using the yellow then NVK weird. Might not have just oh well. By the, uh, black anyway, car, black cars window, um, and yeah, it was, it was a really good round from Evil Geniuses. And the come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. This reinforcement exists to block off the angle from here through connector then this reinforcement exists to stop the angles coming from windows so you can effectively place someone there. You need both this reinforcement and this one. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this one. May, my only, I really have no idea in all honesty because it's not going to protect you from the bathroom window and my only idea is maybe you can, put, you can position someone here if you can destroy this plant so that nobody can fight you from that window. I'm really not sure though. I've, I very rarely see this reinforcement, and I very rarely see it actively used. In all honesty, I just don't know. Then this one, just to stop someone from walking up yellow stairs, shotgunning it open, walking in the B. Then this is shotgunned out because normally you turn B into a kill box, not into an actual site you hold. Because with these two windows, you can no longer hold... With these two windows, you can't hold inside of this general area because of this window you a normally you can you can shoot in through here you can no longer hold this area here you also can't hold here because of the double window you can't hold here because of the connector window if you reinforce here well it doesn't mean even matter this is reinforced because that you can be seen from here from here 
and then if you try and hold down here I think you can get seen if this is shotgunned open and if you try and hold here you can get seen from the windows so you can't effectively hold anywhere inside of B now is that kind of set up yes so then reinforcement here just to stop the angles coming from there hurting space station in that double reinforcement I'm assuming coming down here and here this will be shotgunned open to establish the bathroom angle Attack. like seriously the one thing I'm yeah, curious want... about is the bathroom is not double reinforced and it's five seconds point and this is what I'm really curious about this normally that's reinforced because even with this if this is soft then that really just is I mean you can look all the way into connector you can also contest a good amount of the main desk area so I'm curious as to why this isn't reinforced to me that's something that always has to be reinforced space station in that attack like seriously if they had had a larger hole then NVK might not have just gotten those three kills as they walked into a stairs wall a lot of teams will take admin as we've noted because there's usually no contest there especially when Mira is banned mm. it's very difficult to hold that right we saw a I guess a renaissance of this admin hold that came in when you could put the mirror down inside of the right. break room and then usually involved so NVK is trying to get a pixel peek to contest the hallway angle and I mean that's just there protect them from the it's there so we can switch from actively fighting the meeting angle to fighting the hallway angle yeah, so barricades around it around copier and it essentially gave you this little fortified island almost like a toll booth mm -hmm. at any of the Canadian playing aggressively spot. again now, there were ways to shake you off because you could always just hit Bana X Karos the mirror window unless there was some kind of denial in the back of it but now you've got three operators involved in holding admin and if you lose it that's a lot of utility that you've expended so a lot of teams to just give admin for free and would you, would you look at that where space station they're in admin Camera control, of course, very important, but pretty standard stuff. A lot of teams to just give admin for free, and would you, would you look at that? So admin control taken care of. Fultz is on the repel to contest meeting. Then Chala thinking Nate are the two going to admin. And where are the other two? Where space station? They're in admin. Camera control, of course, very important but pretty standard stuff gotcha on the pulse could potentially um well he, he can call out admin from the base where did Fultz go because Fultz was repelling right here and now rampy is doing that job so i don't know why Fultz was over here in the first place at that point just send rampy here first and then send Fultz. But he has to be really well actually no don't don't even send Fultz. just have Fultz do his own thing and then have rampy actively fighting here them. or have rampy go somewhere else and have Fultz stay here having someone come in and hold the angle for the first 30 seconds and then have someone else come in and hold it for the next 30 seconds doesn't really make much sense just because you have to you're constantly moving bodies and so if you're moving bodies you're not act you can't actively be pushing and you can't take map control you can't take the fights you can't try and you really just can't be establishing any pushing power really pushing the and so you kind of stall out for the 30 seconds everyone's rotating or if he rotates the visa so that depends on if space station is holding visa or not there is also bosco to consider gotcha's upstairs he takes half his health and damage i don't know why he went upstairs as he could detect players because i mean it's a it's a pulse you have pulse playing below so that you can give active information so at this point i don't know why they just didn't elect to bring a mozzie This is going to be big here for Fultz. Okay, so now Fultz has switched positions with Rampy. Bosco is on the double windows of console. Fight his way out at some point. Rampy hasn't died yet, so you have the ability to paralyze the connector player with his gadget. Oh, this is a free kill Ooh, that was Bosco. not the. Uh, gotcha, not a. Gotcha. I think he was just playing a position he assumed nobody was, which is curious, considering he has a pulse scanner who could actively. T you could tell if somebody was there. Bosco wasn't moving. So that was just a mistake coming out from Gotcha. He assumed that the window was clear because it wasn't broken. Flat out ignored it and got shot because of it. Aware of the CEO windows and almost another and almost dies from NVK. That, but he's also tempting fate. I mean that was such a oh. oh that was a very brazen play from Bosco. Canadian on a vault out here would get somebody. I think he hears it. And he leaps out the window. Ooh. Bosco's waiting. 
Bosco's just been better so far. Canadian perfectly baited into it. Canadian was just baited there. That was really good from Bosco. To scoot on back. She's at three speed. She'll be able to get in towards the rest of her team very quickly. Is there still a minute to work with for Space Station? Now, Plant's going to be coming down, so Bosco changed his angle from the... Okay, so Bosco changed his angle from actively contesting the double windows to contesting the downstairs. The one thing I don't like about this is I'm not sure if they know if EG has no more nitro cells. Because if you know that they don't have nitro cells, you really don't have to be actively contesting downstairs. Now, yes, someone could go downstairs and go for a fight. However, it's a 5v3, and that then makes it a 5v2. MVK on a crucial angle, but it's been smoked off by Fultz. This is really good work here from Fultz on the balcony. And Necrox has done that, actually. Taking Canadian's position, trying to deny the balcony presence, but he's unable to. Child so smoke comes out, stops the plant. Then Necrox goes down to Bosco. Bosco is the hero of this round. Bosco gets another one, though. That's three for him in the round. The only kills for his squad. Young doing his best from Connector, but he's being shot at from at least three different people. Mark's coming out because the Valkyrie can't... Young tries to peek, gets killed. There we go. Okay, so this entire round, in my opinion, came down to EG tried to play below and it didn't work. And I think it really just came off to Canadian... Well, Gotcha went upstairs when I don't really see the reason why he did go upstairs. Because you can't really... I would say you can't effectively play upstairs with your entire team unless you're holding admin. Just because there's not a lot of angles you can, not a lot of places you can actively defend by your, well, there's a, I'm trying to, see, trying to see how to explain this. It's uncomfortable to be playing so close to one another if you have your entire team condensed to the same areas. So you want to instead have people spread out and because the, because Gotcha what got it, went upstairs, he wasn't sure where he wanted to hold and got killed because of it. And then Canadian played a little bit too aggressively and just Bosco was ready for it, got the kill. And I'm not sure what his thought process was there. Maybe it was just go for a one for one one on one trade. One for one, I don't know. Either way he dies, five E three, and at that point it just came down to the Jaeger got killed from Bosco outside. He tried to take a fight, he had to take the fight lost it and then the the uh then smoke he tried to stop the plant had to overexpose himself got killed to the person on the balcony and then the and then nvk is 1v5 gets killed you're not gonna win that so it's over but really really this just came down to eg i'd say ex overexpose themselves rather than space station had a better attack this is just space station reading into how the attack came off from evil geniuses in my opinion this kind of came this kind of is what i would say is the difference between a almost a platinum versus a gold player in siege or even just a high gold and a silver where i'm not saying that eg played like silvers here it was more just the the higher ranked team was just holding angles, waiting for the lower ranked team to play aggressively. The lower ranked team lost bodies, and because they lost bodies, they didn't have enough people to actively stop the push. And that's all it came down to. But good job from Space Station. Now, first floor coming up out again. I don't think EG likes to go to the I don't think they like to go to the split. Most teams I don't think like to, especially in North America. I'm not sure if DZ has done it. They probably have. But I really think it just comes down to most teams don't like it. Anyway, Space Station, they have dropped the Thatcher for a Lion. I mean, Thatcher wasn't doing too much here. So Lion definitely can be useful. However, I almost want to say that, in my opinion, Dokabi is stronger than Lion. Just because Lion doesn't last as long. And if you have the game sense, you can actively tell where a where a uh, you can actively tell where someone is when their phone is ringing. So I'd kind of prefer that. However, maybe they want to use Lion to stop refrags. Where if you have, I think this was done by Cloud Nine, where they well the old Cloud Nine that became Reciprocity, where they would run Lion and they wouldn't use him to get kills, but instead use them to stop kills. Where they would get a kill 
use the lion and that would just that just messed up every refrag against them because you never because if you think okay i gotta go make sure okay we just lost a body here i need to rotate so we have that angle covered lion comes out i can't rotate we now have a hole in our defense but other than that same lineup and then eg they're running the mozzie instead of a pulse canadian is down the lesion maybe the valkyrie cameras weren't giving as much information as they liked or maybe they are getting punished so much for their aggression that they are going to tone back the aggression. Either way, there's a legion now. NVK is on dock. Uh, NVK is on dock. And one thing I find curious is that whenever it's an upstairs defense, NVK is always playing the bathroom area, but he he's he's playing it with different operators, and I find that strange because normally I'd say if you're going to be playing the same area, you want to be playing with the same general operator that you're comfortable with. Now, yes, you should be comfortable with every operator. However, it, I mean, it kind of showed in the, well, I want to say in the looking for org versus the old, the stream versus uh, to empire where Jaeger was banned from Jaeger was banned by LFO and joystick really struggled on the defense to the point that he actually went smoke and I, I was amazed that he went smoke because he was he's not a smoke player he is the fragging operator so the fact that he is playing so differently with just this one operator band kind of shows how impactful just getting just not being on your most comfortable operator can be and yes you you should be comfortable playing every operator if you were a pro player and if you can't, then I think you really, well, if you can't, then I'm wondering why you're also uh, you, to a degree a pro player, just because, you, I mean, if, you, this, if you're getting paid for this game, you should know how to run Hibana, Hibana, Thermite, Mozzie, Jaeger, and Smoke, and all their different player styles, then, I mean, that's something you gotta work on. But with that, it's a little curious. I just find it curious that NVK is constantly switching between Doc and Maestro to play roughly the same angles. Anyway, doesn't really matter too much. Not a good one that time. Now we're gonna be going to the middle floor again. Same shield, so, same camera. Maestro cam, I think, is same. As comfortable on the top floor as some other teams. Understandable. I share that opinion. Mm -hmm. Now. Or rather, I guess I share that preference. This is a better way to put it. Now, hmm. it's gonna be my oh, no, I'm thinking it was upstairs for some reason. I was curious about that camera. EG, because IQ is being brought most of these rounds. And, uh, Little dangerous from Necrox there running across. Good from Gotcha for not shooting. That's something that you just have to recognize so that if you... If you're ever... Uh, if you ever see someone just shotgunning out some a wall just stop waste the two three seconds it takes for them to finish shotgunning and then go because you don't want to risk possibly dying possibly getting down to put it be put at 20 hp possibly losing 30 40 hp all because you tried to run across and your team your teammate plays at some low fov or just isn't paying attention going to hurt your uh, valkyrie it's going to hurt your Echo, but he's I want to see where so. I want to see where all of these. Uh... Better just to bring a maestro and hope that it Okay, so one there. You. However, the problem is those are so easily destroyed. It seems these days. What is this? Was that a pest on the window that I saw? Hmm. Makes sense, I guess, in a way. Oftentimes, attackers will just throw a drone through a window after they open it up. Free, free drone. It's almost like there's a saying for that. It's free. Or it would be if there weren't a pest in the way. That was an investment on how the drones were the, the scout. Okay, so Rampy spawned over by garage to get a claymore down on the yellow runout, I believe. For the real estate that they can take. Wonder if that gets caused by caught by a pest. No, nope, not quite. Okay, so Mozzie was found. Charla reads that out. He's not gonna go for his uh, stunts. Seems like it's gonna be a hard admin hold here. Gotcha, really sticking to it. Hmm. It's curious that they decide to go with this route. You have a lion to flush them out if you really need to. We actually haven't been seeing a lot of lion. His play in Pro League. Now, I'm not sure about this, but I think you can get shot from this angle that Rampy is on 
right here. So I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if Gotch is actually safe here. Has not been as pronounced as I think some people had worried or feared. He's still in a very strong spot. I think that's oh no, apparently point. you are. Okay. But you've got Gotcha locked down. He holds Phew. this angle now, and he's not able to get pressured from the window that is where Rampy is currently on. I believe it is or Folds. But there's a. This is actually a. This is actually a pretty neat setup, I think, because you you can't get you can't repel into the windows because you're gonna get nitro celled or shot. You can't walk in through below because you know Canadians down there. So I really like this setup in all honesty. There's not much that can be done to get Gotcha out of this position. Crossfire potential here, and this is where things get really, really tough. A drone gets thrown Canadian's way. He's down. Not sure why a drone was just thrown in there like that. I mean, the guy is literally shooting. Oh, He'll retreat after tossing out a goo mine just to protect his trail. Gotcha couldn't move until just now, but when he had the opportunity, he threw a C4 instead. Yeah. That's a really bad timing for Gotcha, but he's also delaying. Speaking of time, and Necrox is here as well. This is a really crafty admin hold that right now Space Station are just struggling on. When in all reality, they probably shouldn't be. It's gonna be Fultz to grab the footprints of the once again Gotcha. Ooh. You know he's in that corner. I mean, you... so Gotcha was killed. Problem is that it took two minutes to do that, and it really just comes down to Space Station wasn't sure how to deal with this setup. Because with Canadian below, you can't just run in and do that what, what Fultz just did. You have to make sure that Canadian isn't there. And if Canadian had actually stayed there longer, then he didn't have to actively fight Fultz, but he could have probably wasted another 20, 30 seconds in all honesty. And yes, there was a good chance he could have died, but Gotcha could have possibly been alive and you still have top floor control with Necrox and Gotcha inside of the admin office. But overall, this was a, I really like this hold. You could have just pre-fired blindly whether you really wanted to. That's two minutes. That's two minutes. Gotcha's a coach. He did his job. He delayed for two solid minutes. Almost single-handedly. He had a little bit of uh, help from his teammates on the periphery, but... And Necrox gave it up because he has no reason to fight. 45 seconds left, and they've managed to take admin office. A lot of utility, too. <laughs> a lot of utility. Three of the lifeline. Three out of four. Thirty seconds One left. Jackal scans. A, dr a lot of drones. And all you've gotten is, you know, I mean, one C4. But now, how do you translate that? Thirty seconds left. You have to crack the lobby. Do you have control above? Where are you? Well, Canadian saws have been spotted. He's gonna win the fight. Canadian playing aggressively gets the kill. Against Fultz, immediately drop. He can go back through the visa stairs. He's gonna get. Bosco is killed from Canadian. This was a good play from Bosco for recognizing that Canadian is gonna drop. So good communication coming out from Space Station. On spiral, there's Bosco takes him down, and now the rest of SSG will have to circle on in. Ten seconds, that's it. They're running out of time, and perfectly head level. Necrox will take. Necrox gets a kill, and VK gets killed by Thinking Nade. I have no idea how that happened. Then Young refrags on the Chala, two v two. Rampy refrags on the Necrox, but three seconds. No diffuser because the diffuser got killed outside of the door. But Young will have to clutch. And where's the time? There it is. Nobody able to get the diffuser down and ultimate So this is actually just a really neat pocket strat coming out from evil geniuses It's not something that's gonna work every time However, I mean it worked here. So this was a really good strategy. I think coming out from them and That is that's just it the space station just didn't know how to adapt to it. They didn't know how to uh, Actively fight this they did a lot better when it came to getting the kills at the end but because they stalled out for so long and they didn't bring any way to actually get rid of the of the uh, mozzie, they couldn't do much. And I think this is really just EG running into Space Station not bringing grenades and they're so used to having admin given to them that when it's not given to them, they really struggled here. Ultimately, Gotcha being credited with such an excellent delay of Space Station's entry But I also have to lay that at the feet of Space Station. Alright, so basement defense coming out from EG. He's in southeast admin corner. And for two minutes, that must have been what the comms were like while everyone else is trying to do. Now, with this, uh, no Thatcher coming out from Space Station. And you don't really need a Thatcher in all honesty because you can just go above and shoot down. So 
you don't necessarily need one here and maybe they think the lion's helping a lot more i mean lion is a dumb operator he literally i mean he makes you stand still you have to stand still and two seconds may not seem like a lot of time but two seconds is i mean you time those properly you have the coordination and two seconds is big then with that eg the legion mozzie i think they who did they drop because bandit wasn't run last time can't remember who but they dropped someone for a bandit and other than that same same lineup difference is nvk is not on doc is on maestro and necrock jaeger was dropped and jaeger isn't on I mean, necrox isn't on jaeger he's on doc do their jobs and then eventually the jackal comes from below and young's on scans him okay. and shoots him young's on bandit instead of maestro in the first 30 seconds but he was busy with other things so uh Okay, well, round done. There was so much opportunity to flush him out there faster. Yep. Even from below, there was so much opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it wasn't put together. You didn't even need to jackal track him. You could have just shot up on his position, which was made aware of to the rest of Space Station Gaming. Like three times? Very early on, and on many occasions. Yes, exactly. That was Space Station struggling way too hard on something that should have been an awful lot more basic. And because of this... They ended up being their own worst enemies on that round. I want to give praise to Gotcha because, I mean, he played it well, but playing it well meant literally standing on a desk. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah. Or a cabinet or whatever it actually is that he's standing on. I feel it's some kind of shelf or cabinet, yeah. yeah. I think it's like a filing cabinet. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's that influence of the Mozzie. No Thatcher being brought. Ding, 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 guys. He's not banned. He's not banned. Where does your opponent like to go? Top four? No, they don't. Where's the only site they haven't won on defense? So where are they going to go? They're going to go to the basement because they... Oh, yeah. So this is... This is kind of an old strategy where you put you put a Zofia or Ash in above the uh, piano or whatever, whatever is above this site. Repel upside down, Zofia open the floor, shoot down, destroy the bandit charges. Problem is that angles work two ways, and Young got the kill. But it's the only side they haven't won on defense. So where are they going to go? They're going to go to the basement because they just won the middle floor. What do you bring? Fuck that. Then Legion's Young also there. there. With the pests, Young is going to take down, or, or is going to uh, actually Ooh. Canadian. Ooh, so I don't know why I don't know so space station right now Seems like they want to skip steps where instead of going for the roam clear they want to go and just open up the garage and That that doesn't work because you have you always expose yourself to people there I don't know if space station even knew that Canadian was playing inside of here. I I really don't piano will get thinking made as he attempts to repel so so this is was a drone there, so they probably did, but it. I don't see how Thinking Nade dies to a lesion there. And now, minute has passed, no map control, you have two bodies dead, and so EG is just. EG is just playing their game, that's it. They're running around, they're playing how they want to play, and Space Station's kind of falling into that because they. They are, they're just to a degree struggling. They don't, they don't have necessarily the one push they like to do for a roam clear. And I think that's what's really hurting them here. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about here. It's just Canadians playing his own game. He's running around, getting kills, and it's working. It's just, this is just looking terrible for Space Station. They didn't bring a Thatcher, and because of that, they've lost two people, and they have limited to no information on the garage because of the pests. All Solution? Bring a Thatcher. And two very utility-heavy operators as well. One of which can carry the weight when it comes to fragging, which is, of course, Rampy, but then thinking they'd gone as well. The lion is not going to be able to utilize those three charges to sit you down and just make you wait. Yeah. It sounds like Gotcha just caught a drone as well. So that's more intel that's going to go in favor of EG and something else for Space Station that will be lost out on. In a Fultz tries to walk in, go for a fight. No information, I think. And I don't even know how or why Necrox is up here, but he's up here. And he's helping, so 2v5. Doesn't understand that Necrox is playing inside a piano. <laughs> so Necrox is just better. Clean shot for Necrox. And NVK and kills Chala. From EG, ultimately. It's 4-1 and Consulate very much looking like their map. So this just seems to me like... Oh, this 
to me seems as if Space Station just isn't sure about how they want to fight this. Where they, they're really just struggling when it comes to the overall push. And they last round they, they really struggled to take admin. And they're thinking, okay, if they hold admin again, we can't do that. Okay, let's just try and open up the wall first and go from there. Well, they couldn't open up the wall because they couldn't clear out the people above or below. And because of that, they just lost two bodies. So really, it just comes down to Space Station is trying to, is, they're trying to adapt to what EG is throwing at them. And they are struggling to. And this really just comes down to the IGL of Space Station, where... He probably said, I don't even know who it is, but they. He probably said, let's, let's just. Uh, I'm thinking. He's probably thinking, okay, let's just open up the wall, go from there. They are always upstairs, so let's just see if we can go for a push and just hold angles above, and it didn't work. It was a bad call. It lost them the round, and it's not necessarily a bad call. Well, it was a bad call because it didn't work. If it worked, then it's a good call, and that's just the kind of the it's kind of the issues of being an IGL where you will win and lose based off of your calls, and a good IGL is one who makes more good calls than bad calls. Well, they have to go to the top floor now, and remember, top floor. It, well, actually, they don't. They could go to the. Watch that. Anyway, top floor control coming out. Wonder what the meta is changing. No. Same reinforcements. I still don't see why this is open and this is reinforced. This one is reinforced to cut off the angle like that. Makes it makes the attackers expose themselves a little bit more. Then Space Station dropped the lion and is bringing a Thatcher. I think the lion was helping them a bit more. But in all honesty, I think that grenades would help them more than this. So I'm not sure what the thought process is with the Thatcher over, say, a Lion or a Buck or a Sledge with grenades or a Dokkabi with smokes or a Gridlock who can cut off rotates and has smokes. I don't know. Then EG, Gotcha's back on Pulse. Canadian is not on Valkyrie, but instead of on Vigil, uh, probably just wants to annoy the drones a bit more. NVK on Maestro again, Young on Smoke, Necrox Jaeger. Nothing really is changing from their first defense upstairs except the except Valkyrie is now a vigil. And not sure why I didn't play, but okay. Like right now. Someone tweeted at me being like, why do you keep calling Villa defender sided when it's clearly not? And I was like It actually really is. And I was like to the best Windows prep for runouts. And it also applies a little bit of pressure. We see some moments in Villa specifically where it goes the the polar opposite when it's like it just in, it's inverse suddenly and then the attacks win every round. It, it happens, but generally speaking, conventional wisdom supports defender sided Villa. That might change again as the meta continues to evolve. It could just be that Villa is a culprit of the new map kind of symptom. Uh, so admin hold coming out from EG this time. I think they recognize that Space Station struggles on it. Have an inherent advantage on on new on new maps, right? Yeah. Because it's like the attackers have to go through their utility and get to them. These open windows are really causing issues for Space Station. Pick it apart in entry, and entering is not always easy for, you know, new maps. So, well, I mean, Consulate's one of the actually Consulate is the was coastline though. Coastline was. Uh, from what we remember when it first debuted, a lot of people were saying, oh, Coastline sucks to defend. It's it's so hard. It's not it was enjoyable. It it's like one of the most shallow maps ever. And when you say it sucks to defend, it, it means like this hurts me to defend this because yeah, it, it my life is misery as a defender. But it's a little, it is All one of suffering. <laughs> it is one of the most shallow maps ever. I have no idea what the actual attack coming out from Space Station is right now. I mean, Bosco and Rampy both spawned over on the west and are now on the roof going east. Thinking it is all the way outside. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's waiting for a run out. However, at that point, just put a claymore on the balcony and you can just wait for a run out closer. Because trying to hit this shot is hard. You're not going to hit it a lot of the time. So it, it's, I, I don't like his positioning. Now, it's a hard shot to hit, and sure, thinking it can probably hit it, but I feel like there's an easier way of doing it with the Claymore. So, 
I kind of wish that thinking they'd change his positioning and be closer. Really some Z just right there with like House. Of the tarps. It's right there with House and like uh, and Chalet. I would not compare Chris like a House, Michael. In terms of how, like, in terms of depth, like, it's circular, uh, well, not circular, it's more like, anyway, I'm, no, we're not, we're not playing coastline, we can talk about that later. There's some can you play aggressively? ...conversation to be had there, it's a really interesting map, but here and now, uh, Evil Geniuses are yet again delaying the admin... Oh, there's two drones taken out from Canadian. Gotcha kills the Jackal. ...different way, and Gotcha... No idea how that happened. Mm, I have no idea. May... My only, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe Fultz tried to walk in and it was a pre-placed nitro cell. I don't know. And NBK is also helping on this hold. So right now, EG is reading into what Space Station is doing and they are just hard holding admin. There are three bodies inside. The two inside and one just outside helping and Gotcha helping from below. Yeah. Exactly. Do you have any un how, any idea how unusual that is? Okay, so Kane got out. One match for one person. It's very unusual. It is impressive for Gotcha. So, anywho, take a look at where we are right now, and well, it's Fultz down. There's been too many opening deaths that have been given away by Space Station through six rounds, and then they just bleed through the time. No drone gone. So, I'm not sure what Bosco is doing right now, because right now. Right now, the call needs to be made from Space Station. We cannot push admin. We're a man down. We can't actively swing in through these windows. We have no way to act to take these people out of their positions without grenades. So they just need to make the call. We cannot hold this. We need to switch to a console yellow stairs take. Regularly in their map? What? Coastline. I said coastline. I know. I switched to Space Station. Sometimes my brain just... You mean console? Yes. NVK gets the... So no droning coming in. I think Space Station has lost at least half of their drones, and they had no idea NVK was even here. So they are really struggling on this attack. And that's a beautiful one. You're talking about Costa Costa also, my friend. Yeah, no, you're right. That's fair. So yeah. Space Station Gaming now have 40 seconds, and they haven't been able to get control of admin office. We have no hard destructor diffusers down. We'll need to be retrieved, as we are just yeah, shown from Marcy there. there. Then the NVK got out. Who has to rotate. Necrox is still up top inside of admin. He's going to patrol it. Bosco's at front door. Rampy is all the way on the other side, and now Rampy is... Dead. Gotcha kills Rampy. Gotcha got him. We'll see. I think he was just trying to crouch walk up. Rampy is all the way on the yep. other side. And Rampy tries to crouch walk up from Spiral, gets killed. IQ then runs in through main lobby. Got got they have space stations just they can't they're just not being able to keep pace with EG. EG is EG is just playing their own game, and space station is trying to adapt to that game without realizing. I don't think that's really their play style, or that they really can't. I'd say space station is more of a structured team to a degree, kind of like Empire is, but they can't do the exact same attack over and over and over again. So. They need to instead be focusing more on the mid-round adaptations. Instead of saying, okay, the Pulse just killed our guy crouch walking up spiral stairs. I gotta run in to try and go refrag this. Because Gotcha's out of there. And they had no way of actually contesting the admin. I mean, if the Space Station's shown that they cannot take admin, so they need to be trying to instead switch the attack. And it may that may get them killed. They may not be the best prepared for it, but there's no way they're actively taking admin office when the entire attack strategy is to Zofia one person and trying to repel in and get cut and cut down by another because there's no droning coming in. So this just comes down to Space Station is, I think they're in their heads right now and they are really, they just aren't adapting, they're kind of playing, they're just, they're chasing after EG. They're not sure what to do. Now Bosco and Thinking Nate are both chasing this pulse, trying to get a refrag. Now However, he's gone. Zulu, Bosco will have one member join him. And now he's upstairs. Racket being made upstairs by gotcha, as it looks like it might be another flawless round. This is looking like no. Necrox has no, killed out of positioning. NVK, this was a really bad peek from him. I don't know why he peeked this. Maybe he was thinking that Canadian would be able to uh was peaking beforehand and maybe with both swinging they were thinking we can get the kills or the refrag however thinking it does kill canadian so this is actually a really really good 
uh, rebound from Space Station. They turn it from a 5v2 into a 2v2. Problem is that Gotcha gets the refrag. And then... I have... Okay, Gotcha messed up here. I have no idea why he thought that nobody was helping... Well, well, I have no idea why he thought nobody was there. That no... Well, no, no. Why he didn't think both was pushing up Spiral. Maybe he was just worried about the flank. However, both Thinking Nade and Bosco shot. Those are two distinctively different sounds. So maybe it's a bad sound. Maybe it's a bad call. Either way, it doesn't really matter, and he just messed up. Station four kills. It's now a 1v1. Young then plays passively. He has no, he has no reason to push, and they have all the information. On the information. As thinking Nade will be vulnerable. Run on up. Clock is zero. Thinking Nade. So, Young had two things he could do. The first is he goes downstairs with his shotgun and waits for a ping. Second is he waits. He plays passively up until the plant goes down, and he gets the call. He needs to run. And he got the call saying that he needs to. He got the call and played the yellow stairs, ran back up, and got the kill. No chance at all. A really good rebound coming out from Space Station here. Problem is that they shouldn't be having to rebound. And they need to. They really need to work on their overall uh, attack of the of admin. How are they going to take admin? Because if anybody is there, they are going to. Str they struggle. And it's been shown multiple times. I mean. They put one body upstairs one time, and it took two minutes to clear him out. But anyway, side switch, and each let's start with space station. They are being they're going first floor first. I think you need to stop grenades, the uh, grenades and projectiles, as well as Zofia stuns or ash charges to protect Maestro cams. No Zofia coming out though, which is a little strange. However, there is an IQ, and that's also a little strange considering, I mean, there's no Valkyrie or Pulse in play, so I don't, or Echo, so I don't see the use of the IQ. Then Chala's on Maestro for information and a good gun. Rampy's is on Alibi. I don't see why. I really don't. Uh, the one thing that I remember hearing from Dizzle, the coach of Fnatic, is they run Alibi because a lot of teams in high pressure situations will shoot the Alibi and that just messes them up. No. So maybe that's, the, I mean, that's the only, so the only idea with Alibi is it messes you up because you're not used, because you're going at such a high speed and your heart's beating, you're in a high stress situation that you end up shooting the Alibi. Problem is, this isn't a high-stress situation for EG. They're up 5-1. I mean, right now, Space Station either has to win the next six rounds in a row to win, while EG just has to win two. Or, I mean, yeah, either Space, Space Station has to basically win five of these next, the five next rounds, five of the next six rounds in order to tie. And that probably isn't going to happen. So this is not a high pressure situation for EG. This isn't they are down match point. So I'm curious as to the thought process with the alibi. I really do not like alibi. But anyway, is what it is. Then Fultz is on Mozzie. I mean, you stop drones, you can get drones. You saw the strength of Mozzie on, from EG. And then Bosco is on dock for long angles, as well as a bit of information. Then EG is on Buck to provide vertical pressure as well as to bring grenades for more pushing power. Gotcha's on IQ. Maybe ideas to run the IQ so that when the if you want to throw grenades, you check for any you check to see how many Jaeger ADSs are in play. Then NVK is on Lion. It's a Lion. Push a button and you win. You don't actually win, but I mean it's a dumb operator. Shouldn't be in the game. Then Young is on the Thermite because he's not sure, EG isn't sure if it's an upstairs or downstairs defense. And then Necrox is on Jackal because he has a good utility as well as brings brings smokes to help for the push. Anyway, I need to go to the restroom so I'll be back in a minute and we continue once I get back.
All right, so I am back. And with that, let's actually go and see how this is held. Last time they didn't, but... And I don't know what this Maestro Cam is. This one is really curious to me. Because a lot of time, well, actually, it's not too curious. So the plant used to be this is the default. We have smoke and plant. However, then that's kind of changed to this general area around here. So, I mean, the Maestro Cam here looks in there. It's protected from the outside and it can't, and you have a dot cam in the normal place of it. So, not too, not too weird actually. This time they spent two minutes again, and Young wins on time because he's alive, and that's it. No, five. Now the interesting thing is, to me, this look like this. This scoreboard is really close in all honesty. Well, not really close, but it's not as. This doesn't make it seem like it's a five-one, especially with the eight and five guy. We switch to this to the second half. We'll be middle four defense. Okay, let's see. Double reinforcements coming here, I think. Reinforcement here. Maybe one going down there. Roughly the same setup as EG. I have no idea what this is. My only thought with this is maybe it's to stop the attackers from opening up the hatch and holding the flank that way, which makes me think Space Station wants to go for a late flank upstairs. However, I have no idea in all honesty. This doesn't make much sense much sense to me. Just because I mean it you really won't be able to go for late flanks, I think. And there is more than one way to hold angles. The board, I think that it's unsurprising the conflict I, uh, this way. I'm not sure about that. Now, the real question is gonna be what does EG do? Their lineup suggests that they're gonna go for broke. They've got a lion, they've got oh, oh wow, that's unfortunate. At least he's got the shotgun pistol. Yeah. Imagine having to use now. I'm not sure why the pistol wasn't just used to open that up instead of the impact grenade, as I think the impact grenade is a bit more valuable. The reason that happened, I'm guessing, is because that little metal box there in the floor that he was shooting around. It's also, there's always kind of wonky destruction when it involves... I think thinking... Wait, is that thinking nade? No, no, that's Bosco. I think Bosco is destroying the windows, the glass panel outside by doing that, in order to allow sound to travel a bit, easy, bit more easily. Because if glass is on a window, you're, it's, the sound is going to be a really, really muffled because it's going to be going through both a window, well, a, it's going to be going through the barricade and the glass. So it's good to just shoot out the glass on the other side while keeping the barricade intact. There's a rug. That too. The rug plus the little metal box. Yeah, the, the rugs really make destruction uh, inconsistent is what I would say. Yeah. So if you're trying to shoot through that rug, you got to be really careful. Okay, 20 seconds in, windows are getting hit. I don't like that because, I mean, someone can spawn over on the south side, be holding an angle on the windows. You're exposing yourself early pick EG. But no, I was going to say, this is a go for broke lineup of EG here. You got a jack when you got a lion on the board, very similar to what SSG was running, but SSG's pushes were quite lethargic. I don't expect to see that same lethargy from EG. I expect they are likely going to bring the pain, if mm. I may borrow a, uh, a wrestling fa uh, fr phrase, I suppose. From uh, the two early 2000s. Which one's that? Like, who said it? Here comes the pain. I don't know. Mark Lesnar, I, I think, was one of the people said. Anyway. Not sure. I'll need a. Need some so advice. admin taken. I'm sure the chat is like spamming it right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so he's, you have. Oh, wait, what is. Oh, uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Okay. So. Not sure. I'll need a. EG takes admin. Necrox is checking for people. Why would you check for people if you have 10 drones available to you? Where is the droner? That doesn't make any sense to me. In It makes no sense to me as why Necrox is checking these angles. It, it really doesn't. If you're that worried, send a drone in, spend an extra 10 seconds droning ahead of you, and have have your droner i mean there's a there's a reason why some teams really struggle cloud nine against vitality at the last uh i think it was the major i can't remember they really struggled on the attack because they could not drone effectively and they would run ahead of drones they would drone themselves in and they they really didn't know they really struggled on droning 
and it's what really hurt them on the attack. So I'm curious as to why EG is just electing not to drone. Maybe they're just feeling it and they're saying, yeah, give us this gunfight. I want this fight. Give me this fight. Give me this fight. Sure the chat but is like I don't know. Well, I mean, they'd be spamming it for like three, four minutes, four, five minutes, however. something like that. I don't know how long. It was an exothermic charge, so something gets opened up, and there goes another as well. All right, so Young has utilized all of his hatch open destruction, all of his hard destruction, rather, and flank watch there. These walls. They lose a drone and flank watch drone coming out from NVK, I think. Buck is below. I think Canadian's just doing his own solo thing. Of this, uh, this defense are sitting there. So three e e one ds here. Now this is why you put barbed wire a little bit further away from the doorway, because you can hit it like this, and there's no way to contest. NVK, and it's taken less than two minutes to take control of Abnox, by the way, which is important. It's a big step there. Pre-fire's coming out here from Gotcha. He's going to give away his position, but it's not going to cost him anything, at least not right now. The Alibi, Prisma. So the amusing thing here is this is actually a really good... I kind of want to show this from Gotcha. Gotcha, he's going to give away his... Because this is actually a really good peek, in my opinion. So right now... This is, yes, he's shooting alibis, but this is really good just mechanically from Gotcha. Where right now, he, this is the only angle that he can get contested from. Yes, technically he can get shot through the wall here. However, that's probably not going to happen. So you can kind of ignore that. And he's only exposing himself here. And then he goes little by little and shoots any threat while not exposing himself to any more. So he's not trying to peek here while exposing himself to here. If he's peeking here, he's only exposing himself to there. Or whatever whatever else he clears. Yeah, I want to actually see if I can slow this down. There we go. 0.5. This will probably... Step there. Three fires coming out here from gotcha. he's getting... So he swings and he just shoots whatever threat he whatever threat he sees. And in the end, they would turn out to be alibis. But in all honesty, that is a... That's a good peak coming out from him. Giveaway is position, but it's not going to cost him. Kind of curious as to. Not right now. But one thing is, right now it'd be good if EG just throws somebody on the double window because that would, that would just mess Space Station up because they would not, they would struggle yeah, to react to that. Working, in, I guess, in terms of delay, but mm, there's the actual alibi inside the CEO, and that's called out. It was a moving target. MVK is probably going to EE1D, maybe. There it is. Yeah, to keep these players stable inside a CEO, it's going to be a drop there. That's the right call for thinking, as he was close enough to the drop to get away. And it's a retake of. Ooh. So good from NVK for recognizing the drop of, of Bosco. Yellow, that will. Was it thinking it that dropped? I thought it was. Trying to see who. Working, I guess, in terms Cause I see the alibi is there, and there's the actual alibi inside the CEO, and that's called out. It was a moving target. NBK is probably going to EE1D, maybe. There it is. Yeah, to keep these players stable inside a CEO, it's going to be a drop there. That's the right call for thinking. It. Oh, yeah, maybe that was thinking. It. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell. The drop. To get away. And Good from NVK for recognizing Bosco coming. Bad from Rampy. Well, okay, it's kind of bad, kind of not. Sound in this game is really messed up. However, I'd say he just overstayed his welcome and he was dead either way. But And this was really good because you, both Young and Gotcha are both peaking. But Young, the way he's shooting right here, is never going to hit what Gotcha is. And this is, a, this is a perfect crossfire. And there you go. It's even worse as Rampy and Fultz get picked off. Space Station Gaming are... All but done in this round, it seems. And there's still plenty of time for EG. Yeah, they, this is what I said. I think this was going to be a go-for-broke lineup, and EG just swiftly cut through admin. They're going to continue to let that ball continue rolling. Harden the choice continues. Necrox knows that there's a body playing inside a bathroom. That was Chala and the Aldez very distinct when you fire it off, so they know that the Maestro is going to be positioned there. He's going to be in a fight with Young. The deployable shield will keep the Maestro safe, and amidst the smoke, it'll be very difficult for him to be hit on. Thinking Nade takes out NVK. Necrox will drop. There's still the smoke isolating the site. It's cutting it off. There's a bulletproof camera up. They haven't taken care of it just yet. Thinking Nade's going to get picked back up from Chala after a kill. And, well, they're going to get spotted. Ooh. Skeleton key out. Ooh. And no, Canadian can only get one. No, Canadian, Chala no. Chala turns right on him. Plant goes down successfully. And EG have control of the site. They need to box Chala out in some capacity in a 2v1. Chala moving up very slowly. Ooh, nice shot. shot. But he doesn't know where Young is. We've called him one of the most clutch players.
5v2 and turning it into a 1v1 is really big. Now, I want to kind of see what happens here. Okay, Necrox drops. I'm not sure why he drops here and doesn't maintain top control. I'm also not sure what NVK was doing. Because in a 2v5, you play passively. You you don't have to push. You just have to hold angles and you're good. Now, Young comes in to get the plant down. Canadian is below. Necrox and Gotcha are both below doing the same job. So I'm not sure about this. The smoke isolating the sites. Actually, one's holding one angle, one's holding the other. The problem with this is they're giving fair fair one-on-one -on -one fights to the enemy. And you don't want to be giving fair one-on-one -on -one fights to the enemy. There's a bulletproof camera up. Gotcha loses the gunfight. Canadian gets one kill. Gets refrag though. And no, Canadian can only get one. Chala turns right on him. Plant goes down successfully. And EG have control of the site. They need to box Chala out in some capacity in a 2v1. Chala moving up very slowly. A beautiful shot. Chala wins the fight. Where Young is. We've called him one of the most clutch players in all of North America. Chala's got the comfort of the circle desk here. And he's going to stick it. Three seconds. Where's Young? Oh, no. He doesn't Ooh. know in time. He's going to get him in just oh. the last second. Chala on the very final so good at the end from young but really dangerous that it was that close to the diffuser go to the diffuser actually being diffused so it's kind of one of the reasons why i didn't like that necrox dropped down when he could have just been holding the top because if he's holding the top that's a very hard fight to win and it's he can also still smoke he can effectively stop the plant and I think it really just came down to EG went for more fights than they should have. So they that's all it really came down to. And there's not much else to say besides that. And it'll be young to secure one. But this should never have been a one-on-one. -on -one. And man, that's a heartbreaking round for Space Station. That's three clutches in one match for Young. Maybe Space Station will But really it was a decent hold from well, actually, no, it wasn't a decent hold. It was a terrible hold. It, was a, it wasn't terrible. It was just EG was better at the roam clear, and they took out three bodies because of it. Anyway, with that, we'll start from their actually, back here. Oh, hey. I'm not even sure where we are, actually. I think upstairs, but I'm not sure because I'm looking at the scoreboard. Anyway, with that, upstairs defense coming out. I'm still curious as to why this isn't reinforced. Uh, with that though, let's see. So Cade's coming out. Why the fuck is Cade coming out? I have no idea why this Cade is here. I really don't. I'm not seeing a point in him because it's a Cade. I mean, he's mainly used for hatches, can be useful at other things, but it's hatches that he excels at. And yes, you he could theoretically be put on here, but I mean, why not just bring a mute and then you get three more mute jammers that you can put one on yellow stairs, can't drone there. One, say, right here, can't drone up this stairs. Maybe you put one right here so you can't drone from admin effectively into, into printer. So you have... You have more options with a mute than I would say a Cade. You also get the nitro cell, so you still are getting a nitro cell. You aren't having the impact trick, so I don't think impacts are needed from the Cade. And the uh, and the mute, yes, you could. You're stuck between either the MP5 or the SMG11, but if you can hit your shots, then both guns work. So I don't know. I disagree with the Cade pick. I don't think it's the best pick that can be coming out from Space Station. Chala's on, on Maestro. Nothing strange there. Ramp is on Jaeger. Nothing strange. Foltz is on Smoke. He's the Smoke player of this team, I think. I want to say it was... I can't remember who was the old Smoke player, but there was one. can't remember, though. Then Bosco's on Valkyrie for information and a Nitro Cell. So two Nitro Cells, three Smokes, two Maestro Cams three cameras overall a good amount of information and utility but i really think well i mean really it just comes down to i 
I really don't like them. I really don't like the uh, Cade pick. And hey, even, yeah, I really don't like the Cade pick. Then from EG, Canadian dropped off a buck, went to Zofia, maybe was thinking we don't need to, we aren't going to be, actually, I don't know why he did that. Because the Zofia is useful, well, the buck's useful for vertical pressure, but then again, the Zofia can do the same job with breaching charges, especially with, especially if you have somebody else running them. Then, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not seeing it really, but it is what it is. Then I'm not. Well, hold on. I'm, it's not that I'm not seeing. It's that I'm, I'm not understanding the switch between the buck to the Zofia. Both work. However, it's not really. Uh, I can't really say. I can't explain why they switch from one to the other. My only thought process is maybe they're expecting the upstairs. And they expect SSG to prefer upstairs over downstairs, so they'll go there first. And they need to be able to take out a Maestro Cam position here from here. And so they need the Zofia for the long angle. And Buck can't do that. So maybe that's the idea. I don't know. Anyway, Gotcha's on IQ, NBK is on. NBK is on Lion. And there's a double hard breacher. I don't understand that. Okay. Why is there a double hard breacher? I don't get that. Okay, I need to see what happens. Maybe they were just really expecting a downstairs route, at which point, why not just still bring the buck? They're actually, uh, hey, guys, they're losing in draws to Rogue right now. This cannot be. They, Space Station has three draws, Rogue has four. It's not allowed. So, um, the universe will correct itself and Space Station will get the next five rounds and get a draw. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, what's going to happen? So, five seconds remaining. top four defense here for Space Station Gaming. When they haven't had a whole lot of luck on uh, Consulate so far, it's been it's been tough. One thing is, I'm not sure about this Valkyrie pick, mainly because they know EG is running IQ. it's really nice. Yeah, EG. I think it's Jazz. I don't know. It's I'm not good at placing genre. So. I think that's just for a sound cue, but I'm not sure. I'm also not sure why there is a claymore on that window and not the door, the yellow door. If you're going to be repelling there. Lion's so good right now. You don't need the jackal. You bring Necrox on the Hibana. I'm sorry. Correction. Lion has always been good. Uh, Lion was. Admin so given to EG, so they take it. He used to be. He's he's still he now he's just. Good. Not sure why Necrox been a rotate hole and not it just a kill hole. Forty-five seconds. You've already got hard destruction going off. Necrox opening up. As much of a line of sight into the projector room as possible over an A bomb site. I think it's smart that uh, SSG would go to a different site this time around. By the way, quick clarification: Lion is good when you are coordinating with your team. I think Lion is good in every capacity. Do you think he's good in like a just a random ranked kind of setting? I think in ranked setting, I think he's, he will always flourish. I think that he needs more coordination now in pro league. That's the way I would put it. And when yeah. you're gonna have the first one go off. Waiting to see if there's the body that's over by spiral stairs. I'm not sure why NVK is down inside of the Vs office, I think. Because you can get shot. I mean, someone can flank up from the basement. Someone can shoot him from the angle that he's holding. But really, I'm not sure why he's there. If he's really that worried about a flank, well, there is no real flank that can come out. Because if you want to flank, you have to go up the Visa stairs. If you have to go up the Visa stairs, you're exposed to the wall which the Hibana opened. So I think it's a waste of where they put NVK. It's good information from his own drone, it seems, but it's been oh. shot out now because he moved it. Playing through those bullet holes, which is definitely doable. An upside down. I'm gonna check something. Very advantageous for Young, and Gotcha just gets absolutely obliterated. He's and he's why is Gotcha he's below? Been shot out now because he moved it. So NVK is now off of his position, changed it. Which is definitely doable. An upside down repel here is very advantageous for Young. It's a flank drone. Gotcha runs in below. I don't know why. Gotcha just gets absolutely obliterated. He's on three HP, maybe. Uh oh, he's being. Oh, and he has low. no idea that somebody's out here. Whether he knows it or not, and it's actually gonna be Rampy in that position to get the kill. So I don't know why Gotcha's below. This doesn't seem smart to me, because if you're trying to stop somebody from going for a nitro cell or just shooting through the floor, you can go outside. You don't have to run in. If you want and have the bomb plants not going down, so you have no reason to be inside. So I don't see what Gotcha's doing here. Oh, I think this was a bad call. 
Bosco then kills Canadian. How did you just kill Canadian? Bosco, so you've got oh, three boring. bodies that are circling wow. him like sharks in water. And he's actually going to try... Kills Canadian outside. He's going to use a breaching charge to run away. He'll go downstairs. And he gets out. Bosco gets Canadian, though, from below using the angles that were pre-made. NVK taking some damage. Uh oh And this is top of God. So NVK goes down to... How did... He's gonna use a what is going on? He'll go downstairs. And he gets out. Bosco gets Canadian, though, from below using the angles that were pre-made. NVK taking some damage. Uh oh And this is top of God. So NVK goes down, Gotcha comes up from behind, I'm not sure if the call was made, but I don't know if they even knew he dropped. So, really Rampy just not paying attention, <clears throat> gets killed. NVK and Gotcha are both killed though. And then Young is outside, misses some shots, gets killed by Thinking Aid. Not sure why Thinking Aid is using the suppressor, probably forgot he had it on. Never use suppressors. All they do is take away damage and make it take an extra bullet or two to kill. If you're playing at a high level or you're good enough, suppressors don't mean shit. You're going to you're you're going to lose the gunfight because you miss your shot, not because you got killed from some unknown position. I mean, that's the way it works with me. I think maybe one out of every hundred times I die to somebody who I have no idea where he is. Other times, it's just I lose a gunfight. I don't even think it, I don't even think it is a 1%. I think it's a less than 1%. So, so really, just don't use suppressors. Anyway, this just, I don't know what EG is going for here. They seemed like they just wanted to take, they wanted to kill everyone below, and they got shot from above, and they were just panicking a little bit. And got cut down because there was no one in a position to refrag. G will not be able to finish this one out quite as quickly as they had hoped, unless it's up to Necrox to clutch. He'll grab his very first kill so far. Takes out Bosco, and he's got 40 seconds to continue onwards. He doesn't have the diffuser. That's going to be something to go grab out on the balcony. Now, probably over. 3v1, crossfire, diffuser on balcony. But one thing that SSG has at their disposal is how patient they can be. And they're going to wait. They're not going to give a single inch to Necrox here. They've all fallen so far back that they're going to play in a position where if he hops in, he's essentially dead. You look left, 15 seconds. You look right. There's Fultz. It, it's dead. This is a beautiful crossfire. Where are you going to go? Doesn't really matter. Fultz has him under watch. Lock and key and Space Station will pick up their second. Bosco. Anyway, good hold from Space Station. They won their fights. And I think it just came down to it was a bad push from EG. They tried to go one on one for everything. They tried to just run into the building. I think they just said we don't. Have... I think they just said we we're just gonna ignore. I think they're just feeling it. I think they're just saying we're up six one. Let's just run in there. We're good and it doesn't work. Making that one happen. Also, kind of an issue that EG has had before, where they try and close out round, close out maps, and because they they end up uh. They end up uh, losing a round or two because of that. It was really shown in the uh, in the Empire versus EG game on Oregon, where they they were up like six three or something and lost it, and they and it really just came down to one big round where Gotcha well not Gotcha uh Geo missed a bunch of shots, Canadian missed a bunch of shots. And Young was stuck in a 1v2, and after that it all fell apart because they tried to just close it out and just they they just overexposed themselves too much. And this is kind of the same thing, and it's really bad to see because it's an issue they've had for quite some time. He has been the playmaker for SSG through this match. It's gonna be Archive Teller, the new site. We played here. That's a curveball. Yeah, it is certainly it's a I would describe it as a Hail Mary. Given the round count. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. It was a split? Here. I wasn't paying attention. That's a curveball. Yeah, it is certainly. It's a... Yes, it is. Okay. It is a Hail Mary, given the round count. I would agree. So this this is kind of a Hail Mary. It's a pocket strat. It's kind of like the old Dark Zero when they went to Cash, uh, cash or Bakery on... Yeah, Cash or Bakery whenever they were flip side. So on the old clubhouse and on the old uh, cafe, now I'm not. It's not. This isn't. This site isn't to that degree. However, it's still not that good of a site. I think. 
found that thing is actually a terrible sight, but that's just me. Anyway, with that space station, they're running three nitro cells, and that's kind of how you hold here. You just have information and you chunk nitro cells. Then ramp is on castle. I don't know why, but he is. We have to see how he's used. Then thinking is on pulse. You need the information. Boss goes on Valkyrie. You need the information. Fultz is on the mute. You can stop drones and you can you get a nitro cell. Ramp is on the castle. We have to see what he does. And Chala is on the maestro for information. Yeah, I would agree. Then EG Canadians back onto the buck. So the what was one? It was the top. The top. Uh, the top was one. And they're probably thinking, okay, they're going to go downstairs because they got slaughtered on the first floor. So let's bring a buck for vertical de vertical destruction. Gotcha is now Thatcher because if in case of bandits being brought. Young on the thermite to open, open up the garage wall. NVK is still on Lion. And Necrox is on the Doka B for the smokes. Very much so. This is a interesting but it's a split. From Space Station. A site that is often considered to be bad. Period. And Space Station are just going to go for it. There's a couple things that they're doing here. They're bringing a Pulse. It's all in, likelihood, or in all likelihood, a Pulse is going to play either in Admin Office or in Archives because you can see from you can see all the way up through those three floors, which is really useful. Looks like it's going to be downstairs. You can also probe by uh, Garage. As you can see, it's maybe he's setting up to do right now. Probe by Garage. As soon as you feel pressured, retreat to Archives. Then you can call out Admin Office pressure. You can call... You can also probe by uh, garage. So you can okay, so it's so right now, space station is setting up setting up for an upstairs attack through admin, and the problem with this site is you either set up above or below, and if you're wrong, then it normally is a lost round. Right now, probe by garage. As soon as you feel pressured, let's see. To archives, then you can call out. Admin I'm seeing a lot of running around, and I don't know why. Visa pressure. Okay. Visa. A lot of choices. I have no idea what this castle is. <laughs> I'm confused. It's just going to be delay tactics to try and gather information that's sensible. A lot of teams do not defend B that much down below. A lot of teams yeah. will defend admin up top. They will defend in and around Visa, and then that will be it. That's where they go. And so one thing is, this is really dangerous from NVK to do that r routinely, because it. I mean, it. You can get shot very easily there. There was a. When Noted was in Pro League on Pain, he 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 used to do this thing where he would hit, double hit a barricade and crawl in below. And when the when Pro teams realized that's what he does, they literally just set someone up ready for him to do that, waited, and got a kill. So if you continuously do the same thing over and over and over again, teams will read into that and they can punish you for it. Because of this, well, you don't really need to invest that much down in B because most teams are not going to take it you know you walk in you might get the hatch you drop okay but you don't know where everybody is and if EG assumes that SSG has bodies down below then they're not going to be able to take it quite as quickly that'll really come down to the drone work here and depending on where the mute jammers of Fultz are that drone work might not be as easy as they hope and of course Lion will contribute to the drone work in terms of information oh that could be a kill actually I think if you upside down repel you can get the angle over top that shield I could be wrong I think it's possible. So the idea that you're going to... I'm not, I'm really hoping, one, that admin was cleared and people said, okay, admin is clear because if not, this is a this is really dumb. I'm assuming based on NVK's crosshairs that it is. However, the idea that you're just going to repel in and get you're just going to repel in under a lion, I really hate that. Because NVK was the one that got the kill upstairs when I think you... I, I think it was Chala tried to do the exact same thing. Shield player to stand still. It looks like he has information though. Phone calls. The Dokubi plus the EE one D assisting so much here. The marks there on the player. No droning. Soda, and he's a limp. I mean, there was droning, and NDK just knows there's a Canadian there's a rotate hold there. An absolutely vicious take onto the player there of Chala, who is trying to hold Soda. Lots of utility used, yes, but was it worth it? Also, yes. That's your maestro gone. Interesting to play Maestro so aggressively there, so forward to try and hold on to admin office, but not really though, because he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't holding on to admin office. I'm not sure what his goal was. So a little bit of delay, maybe? I guess he did that. 
This is a little bit slower than EG previously was able to take control, but now they're doing the work that they need to. And I mean, I, th I think it's because you can't take admin as quickly because it's right above the site, right? There's going to be yeah. other ways for you to get in before you can take the control you need. Potentially three C4s on space station, so they have, there's something for evil geniuses to worry about. And this is very much a situation where you're going to need to stay up there for quite a while, as Canadian is doing, and take that control, take away the ceiling from them, and then what happens? Well, a C4 greets you at the end of a hard day's work, so... Maybe. And Gotcha's actually already down to the site. It looks like the ceiling there, too, and I mean... Trying to figure out exactly what's going on. I think it's because you can't take admin as quickly, because it's right above the site, right? There's going to be yeah. other ways for you to get in... Self-droning, don't like that. Top floor, I think, was given up from space station i think that's a mistake because well i'm trying to see because it's very like if you're trying to contest an, contest an admin push you have to hold admin and maybe the space station just said we can't hold upstairs so let's fall down i'm not sure but really it's a hard call to make and it's just it comes down to the site i don't like the site because you have to make calls where I mean, if you don't have the if you don't have the proper nitro cell holes prepped already, then you're not gonna be able to hold a. Well, you need potentially three C4s on space station, so that have, there's something for evil geniuses to worry about. And this is very much a situation where you're gonna need to stay up there for quite a while, as Canadian is doing, and take that control, take away the ceiling from them, and then what happens? Well, a C4 greets you at the end of a hard day's work, so maybe. Gotcha's actually all so NVK is self joining. I really don't like that. Down to the site, and it looks like the C4s are being primarily played downstairs in the basement to deny the plant in tellers. And NVK came back upstairs. Maybe they realized somebody else was upstairs. Either way, bad droning. Necrox though gets the kill. And another body from space station is gone. So very some interesting positioning now for the remaining members. Just outside of this castle barricade, Necrox might not hear. So one, why Rampy was there, I don't know. Uh, he should have just given up the position. And, I mean, really, I don't, I don't see why he was trying to hide. You can't hide. And two, why he was able to stay up there for so long, even though top floor was basically taken from EG, I also don't get. That just comes down to poor droning. Through the Valkyrie of Bosco. And he'll fall back. Young is planting. He pops off for the time being. NVK gets the kill. Life away to NVK on a fight that he needed to take, given that it's a 3v5 that becomes a 2v5. Big thing about that kill was it was a nitro cell. And now thinking they down. Oh, is oh never mind. Down below we'll find Necrox. Necrox. Necrox is killed. The plant's coming out. He's got Fultz by his side. And they've got. And Necrox was sent there to stop the plant from coming down. Deny this plant. No information. So. So, bad nitro cell. Second bad nitro cell. So, all three nitro cells were, were useless. Bosco died before he could use his. Foltz missed his and thinking they'd missed his. So, overall, the entire attack, the way you defend the top floor is with nitro cells. If you can't use the nitro cells, you lose the site. This is a full control and SSG will have to do something that nobody ever wants to be in. It's retake, but you oh, Fultz. And he can't plant, but it doesn't matter. So that was actually uh, four seconds. It's retake. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to say whether that was a good call. Hold on, I, need to, I want to see how long that bomb was being planted for. A second will go up now, and neither connect. Evil geniuses have full control, and SSG will have to do something that nobody ever. Four and a half seconds. Yeah, he has to take this fight. He should have just shot the head the moment he saw it. And the moment the head moved, he needed to move. Because the moment that head moves, that means that there's a, there's a reason why he got off of it. So, kind of just a mess up from Foltz. Uh, now, I understand his thought process was wait until... Like, uh, wait until they can't pick up the bomb again to get the kill, you know, crosshair uh, discipline. Whatever it's called. Uh, trigger control, I think, is actually what it's called. Yeah, trigger control. And... You have, it's something that there's a few highlight videos from Counter-Strike professionals who do that, where they get behind a team and they'll wait for three or four people to push in front and then they'll just mow them down from behind for two or three kills. But really it's, um, I mean, really he just, he made a call, it didn't work, so he died. But 
Young's sixth sense kicks in, and he can't plant, but it doesn't matter. And he gets the kill. Kay collects thinking nade, and were it not for that final kill, it would have been another round for SSG. <laughs> but what a play onto the pulse. And EG. So really, this just came down to EG was able to play their own game, and Space Station was trying to play around that, but was always on the back foot. They were always having to react to what EG did, instead of playing proactively and saying, this is what EG does, this is what we need to do. So they like taking from admin, we must hold admin. They like... Uh, they like having some solo pushes. We punish them by putting two on one fights. And things like that, it, I mean, it just comes down to the in game calls and kind of the information being given for the entire team. And it, it just wasn't there for Space Station, so they end up losing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. If there's a game you want me to do, let me know. And if you have any questions, just let me know. With that, I'm going to end it.